Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversation. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So what I have here are your January mid-month check-ins, yes? January 2019. So because I was working on the six month forecasts for 2019 and I was wanted to get those out before the 1st of January, I wasn't able to do full January readings for the collective. So I am bringing you guys a mid month check in. Uh, this is going to be a normal um, general freestyle reading, uh, just like always. I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot and I am using the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah. Um, and so this is just this general normal reading. We are going to be looking at what's going on currently around you since we already in the are already are in the month of January. We're going to be looking at what's currently going on around you and then what could be coming up down the line at the end of the month. So we're looking at for that. We're, we're, uh, we're looking at this from around the 15th to the 31st. Yeah. I want to want to wish a special happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there. Very happy birthday to you. We are smack dab in the middle of Capricorn season. I hope you guys are having a great birthday. I hope everybody had a great holiday. We are out of the holiday season now, so we might be going through that, you know, post-holiday funk, uh, the uh, seasonal depression maybe, but I hope everyone's doing well. Um, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me. These are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The energies are fluid. They could go either way. We could either be talking about you personally, or we could be talking about uh, someone that you're connecting with. Cross watchers, you know, it, take, what it, take it as it resonates. Also, everybody, just take it as it resonates. And again, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me, and I can get that set up for you. Yeah, I believe that's it. Ooh, um, good news. I am back at Om Shanti Bookshop here in, in the East Village of New York City. It is on East 14th Street. That is between 3rd and 4th. No, I'm sorry. That's between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. There it is. Um, but I'm going to be there Fridays now from 11 to 5 p.m. So go ahead and uh, you can give them a call. The email address, I'm sorry, the website is in the description box below. So you can go there, get their phone number, give them a call if you would like to... Uh, uh, book a reading in advance that can happen yeah and actually you know that way you don't have to potentially wait if someone else got in before you yes okay I think that's it so without further ado we're gonna get straight to it yes Aha. hey there Aquarius welcome to your mid-month check-in for January 2019 thank you so much for tuning in let's get into it hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good for our mid-month January check-in for January 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So I was doing a little bit of a pre-shuffle before I got into your energies. And the Eight of Pentacles came out with, and then also the Ten of Cups came out, and that came out in reverse. So I feel like you guys are really working hard towards some sort of emotional fulfillment, or conversely, you could be um, drowning yourself in work or trying to distract yourself in work because there could be some sort of family situation going on that you're trying to almost escape from. I feel like some of you, some of you may have uh, ended a relationship. Maybe it could have been a long term relationship. It doesn't, I mean, yeah, if it, it was the 10, but it was something that might've been really emotionally fulfilling for you at a time, or at least you wanted it to fulfill you at a time. Um, and that hasn't happened. And so, or it's just, you know, taken a turn for the worst. So, um, you might be really focused on work right now in order to, you know, build, build your confidence back up, or, uh, at least maybe just like forget about it, um, to get your mind off of it. Or for some of you, you really may be working hard to turn the relationship around. Okay. Aquarius. All right. One more shuffle for you, Aquarius, and then we're going to get into it. Whoops, there goes my feather. It's okay. All right, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Here we go. Boops. 
Alrighty, guys. Overall energy. You've got the queen of cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe Cancer specifically. Um, but this is compassion. This is unconditional love. This is uh, emotional understanding. Um, some of you, yeah, some of you might be really going through a really tough emotional time right now. And you're really just trying to keep it to yourself. You're not trying to burden anybody with it. You're not trying to express it really to anyone. That could be a problem though. For those of you that are dealing with some sort of re romantic relationship or family relationship, the more you guys can communicate about your what, about what you're going through, the better, okay? Open lines of communication need to be there. Now, I understand how that may not really be possible, um, but that's okay. It, that's okay. I mean, it, it depends on your situation. Take what resonates. But I really feel like um, this also could be intuition. Your psychic awareness might be pretty heightened at the moment. Ooh, Ace of Cups. You have the Ten of Wands. And finally, Temperance. Okay. So I really feel like there are some burdens here, Temperance there. But I feel like there are some burdens that really need to be assessed, addressed. All right. Um, something needs to be released here. I do feel like some of you may really need to work on that self-love, that divine love, unconditional love, um, you know, work on filling your own cup. Some of you might actually be in a relationship in which um, you're overtaking or overgiving. Again, take that as it, you know, take it as it resonates. Um, I feel like some of you are really carrying a very heavy burden here and things need to be balanced out, all right? Again, I'm really feeling strong, uh, pull towards um, advising whoever this is for to really open up about your emotions because keeping things hidden is only adding more burdens to the situation or to the relationship, okay? But this, <coughs> excuse me, something really needs to be brought into balance here okay and you might be working on that yourself now this doesn't necessarily have to be uh, a situation with somebody else with a, a outside external partner you could actively be working on bringing this balance in for yourself personally if you're like say if you're like single or something working on the self-love here because i feel like for some of you aquarians or maybe someone that you're connecting with you are overburdened because you're taking on too much. You know, the Queen of Cups can be an overgiver. So it's like you've taken on too much and you don't have time for yourself and um, you're needing to find that balance and to release those extra burdens that you really probably have no business carrying <laughs> to begin with. You know, it uh, might be a situation in which it's not even your problem, doesn't need to be your problem, but because you, because of, you know, you really, you really are a very compassionate person. Um, Aquarians tend to be humanitarian types, um, or you have this connection with this individual or this, these people, maybe a family situation, um, and you feel obligated to do so. You can't be there for your family if you're not, full and whole within yourself. You know what I mean? That kind of energy. So there are some burdens that need to be released. So getting into your first row here, this is what's currently going on for you right now, potentially. And keep in mind, this is a general reading, okay? You have first set of surrounding energies, you've got the six of swords. So you're definitely working on moving on in some way. Um, mental healing also. There could be a lot of, it could have been a lot of mental turmoil or conflict, but I do see some of you really moving towards calmer waters in some way, however that resonates with you. Again, this could be that family situation or it could be a romantic relationship. It could be a friendship. It could be a job, whatever. You, I do see you guys are working towards moving in, moving in a new direction and moving to a calmer, safer space that allows you to cultivate more unconditional love, maybe for yourself or for others. But also, I really feel like a strong message needs to be that you need to move to a situation that in which you are able to cultivate more self-love, okay? Six of Swords is coupled with the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so an Earth energy, potentially, Tau uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, uh, could be Virgo specifically, but slow and steady wins the race here. Uh, this is not a situation in which you can really drop all the burdens and keep moving. No, you have to take it step by step, um, inch by inch, mile by mile, that kind of energy. And that's really where I see you guys are right now for whoever I'm channeling for here. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies. You've got 
the high priestess. So what I'm getting with this here is that there's a lot of divine wisdom that's coming through for you. You may really be in a situation where you're a process where you're learning, um, you're learning about what true unconditional love is, what true self love is, how you can love yourself more. You may also be getting downloads from the universe or your higher self um, about what has been hidden from you. Um, you may be facing what has been hidden from you and what could have been hidden from you were how you were carrying these burdens here represented by the ten, ten of cups that you never really should have been carrying to begin with. I really feel like some of you have really taken on more responsibility than necessary and I'm hearing that you need to get to delegate at this point, okay? The high priestess is coupled with the moon. Yep. Intuition. Like I said, some of you actually might be getting some... Um, intuitive guidance. Your intuition may be heightened right now. The Queen of Cups and the High Priestess are the most intuitive or psychic individuals in the whole deck. Obviously, the High Priestess being a step above because she is major arcana level. But you're, I really see you getting insight as to what has been hidden from you, the secrets. Um, you might also be facing some things that you were really, really afraid of. So facing your fears. But these fears are most likely what led you to take on all of this extra responsibility with the Ten of Wands up there. And you may have really been avoiding this because you didn't want to face these certain aspects. But it's coming to a point, and actually we are in an energy right now collectively where Things can't, you can't really run from things anymore. You can't really run from yourself, from your challenges, from your burdens any longer. You need to face them and release them. And that's really what I see a lot of you are going through right now, Aquarius, okay? The current energy, I'm sorry, the, uh, the challenge for this current energy, you have the Six of Cups. See, uh, not the Six of Cups, I'm sorry, the Six of Pentacles. Like I said earlier, this is very much an imbalance between the give and take in your relationship. Whatever that relationship would be is, it doesn't have to be a romantic one. It could be uh, just family in general. Like uh, you, It could be a relationship with your children specifically. That just came through. Um, it could be a work situation, friendships, whatever. Whatever uh, situation that is imbalanced in your life right now, that is the focus. That is your challenge, bringing this into balance, balancing out the reciprocity, the give and take, okay? Six of Pentacles is coupled with the Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups here is talking about regret and remorse. I do feel like some of you are going to be dealing with some sort of regret, remorse, or shame in letting go of whatever burdens are are being illuminated for you um, and that's probably making it a little more difficult for you right now but ultimately this is something that you have to face all right aquarius or cross watcher potentially um mm, for some of you i am picking up that you know, whatever situation you're in right now, it turned out to be not what you expected, okay? So that's where the, the regret and the remorse could come in. I really feel like for some of you specifically, I'm getting, I don't know who this is for. Um, it, it feels pretty specific, so it may not resonate with everybody or even a large amount of you, but um, this relationship or this situation that you're in has turned into a really toxic situation. And in you realizing that you have taken on more than you can chew or more than that is actually required of you, um, you are now experiencing this regret and remorse of, it could even be regret in even getting into the situation to begin with, okay? This could be a business situation. It could be financial in nature, but it also could be a, a, a romantic relationship or a family situation. Your final closing message for this for these current surrounding energies or the potential outcome, you have the hanged man. So you're definitely in a position of needing to see things clearer than you have in the past. Um, you're feeling very stuck, very stagnant right now, or you may be. And um, but ultimately, this is even though this is a really shitty situation, probably, and is something that you know you really probably would wish you were not in. Ultimately, it is serving your highest good. You're learning through contrast. You're gaining enlightenment here, all right? The hanged man is coupled with the two of cups. Look at that. So these two cups that are, that are left standing behind you in this three of cups, well, here you go. You're finding it. 
Okay, you're receiving it. You're 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 starting to see it now. For some of you, you could still see the potential in whatever relationship you're dealing with. But for others of you, this stagnancy, this uh, hanged man energy, is helping you find that balance within, that greater balance within. Okay, you went from the Ace of Cups now to the Two of Cups. So. Um, I really feel like many of you are in, a, in, a, in an energetic space right now where you are learning to love yourself, honor yourself, and bring your masculine and feminine energies into balance within, which is creating union within, which ultimately will reflect out into your external reality and help you manifest that which is more in alignment with your true authenticity, okay? So for the end of the month here, let's see what we have for you. First set of surrounding energies, you've got the Knight of Swords. So there really could be some serious communication here. I see many of you, now this could, this absolutely could be you with the uh, Swords energy, Aquarius. It also could be, it could be any other air sign. It could be another Aquarius or a Gemini or a Libra. Specifically could be a Gemini. But with this Gemini energy that's coming through in the Knight of Swords, I'm definitely seeing some stark, strong, blunt, to the point communication. Some of that may be necessary because I feel like a lot of this energy could be pretty pent up for you, Aquarius, or the person that you're dealing with, or the, 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 the situation that you're dealing with. Um, just be careful, pick your battles wisely, choose your words wisely. I'm not saying to diminish what you have to say or your feelings or what you've been through, but also keep in mind that, you know, um, that you don't have to come out swinging in order to get your point across. You don't have to approach the situation with intentions of, uh, uh, of hurting someone because you may be hurt yourself, okay? Knight of, oh, but I definitely see some sort of communication happening, all right? Knight of Swords is coupled with, wow, the King of Swords. So there you are, Aquarius, officially. This would be your card, uh, the fixed masculine ar archetype of... Aquarius. Now it could be also, again, it could be another air sign, another Aquarian or another Lib a, a Libra or a, a, a Gemini. Um, <clears throat> but so yes, definitely some communication coming towards the end of the month, maybe even into the beginning of February. Energies are fluid, so take it as it resonates. Um, and I would recommend letting go of any sort of time um, expectations because that would only create a blockage. But I do see here that there is a conversation that needs to be had, period, straightforward. Um, and it needs to be a diplomatic compl uh, conversation. You know, the, the King of Swords is very diplomatic. Even though he may have necessarily already made his decision or made his mind up, he is still somewhat willing to hear others out, okay? Again, that may not change his mind, but he's also willing to do so in certain respects, okay? So I really think in this conversation that needs to be had, Aquarius, there that that diplomatic energy really needs to uh, be put into focus or fo the focus of the conversation, especially with this Knight of Swords energy, which can be pretty com uh, um, explosive, combative, confrontational <clears throat> in a negative way. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for the end of the year, end of your month, you have the Ace of Wands. Excellent. So inspiration, uh, moving to uh, moving in a new direction. I do see you successfully being able to release these burdens because in your overall energy, you started with the Ten of Wands and now in the, towards the end of the month, you're moving towards the Ace of Wands. You can't get to the Ace of Wands until you release the burdens of the Ten of Wands, okay? So that's a good thing, okay? Inspiration, moving in a new direction, especially with this Six of Swords here, which is talking about moving towards calmer waters, peacefulness, right? Ace of Wands is coupled with the seven of pentacles. So I do see whatever you're moving towards, this new direction, this new start, it's definitely focused on what you have learned from the past. And I really don't think that you can release these burdens that you've been carrying until you learn the lesson of the situation, which is what the seven of pentacles is talking about, all right? This is the harvest, reaping what you've sown and being able to understand your previous harvest, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, and understanding what it is you want to harvest again in the future, and then planting those seeds with the ace of wands, okay? That would definitely, especially with this king of swords energy, very logical, truth uh, to the point, um, seeing things as clearly as possible 
And ultimately, that's only going to help you in the future to yield a better harvest. And so that's where I really feel like you moving into this new phase in your life, that is what, that is what it's focused in. The, uh, the harvests of the past, the situations from the past, and what you've learned from them, how you've grown from them, okay? Your challenge in the end of the month, you have the lovers. Wow, so more Gemini energy. This is officially Gemini here. Now, um, the lovers is the major arcana version of the two of cups and vice versa. The, 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 the two of cups is the minor arcana version of the lovers. And I'm seeing, what I'm seeing here is this, uh, this balance, this union within that you're generating right now is coming into somewhat of a maturity here throughout this process in the, with the lovers here in the last, in the end of the month or whenever these energies hit you. Um, that is the focus. So this is why it's showing up as your challenge here. That is th this maturity of balance between masculine and feminine, maturity within the relationship that you have going on um, is what's helping focus this here with this conversation that needs to be had and moving in this new direction, okay? The lovers is coupled with, wow, the five of pentacles. No longer wanting to be left out in the cold. And, in, and to be quite honest, Aquarius, you are really the only one that can leave yourself out in the cold. Some people may reject you, shun you, push you out, blah, blah, blah. But that doesn't mean you have to do the same to yourself, right? And, not, and so what I'm really getting here is not wanting to be left out in the cold any longer. So what does that mean? Well, you could be dropping the burdens of this relationship. Or you could be dropping the burdens of whatever caused this uh, feeling left out in the cold, this lack, whatever energy to be generated within your relationship. Okay. I do see, um, either I, I see a greater balance coming into play that could potentially be within you. And I would highly recommend that you work towards that anyway, or it could be coming into play with this relationship that you're dealing with, but I'm definitely getting a sense of maturity. Okay. That is being adopted, integrated, or is necessary for this to be completed successfully. Again, uh, obviously a, su a successful completion is subjective, but you know, take that as it resonates. But I do feel a need for a, uh, um, a level of maturity to be adapted, okay? Your closing message or the potential outcome here for the end of your month, you have the Six of Cups. I am getting a reconciliatory energy here. You could, some of you actually could be moving on to a, a new soulmate relationship. Once you close this old situation out, we could have been talking about a karmic relationship here. And not, come to think about it, with the energies of all these heavy burdens that have been going on, I really feel like, yeah, it potentially could have been a, a, a karmic relationship for you. I do see that some of you, if you were to end a relationship here that was toxic for you, you could be moving on to a, a brand new soulmate. And it could be so, come, someone from the past. I feel like for some of you, someone from the past could be coming back, uh, re-entering your life. Um, this also could be, you know, in you releasing these burdens for your, from your life, you could be freeing up to take on something that um, you had wanted to do in the past. Maybe when you were a kid, maybe in the recent past, when you were a teen, a young adult, whatever. Take it as it resonates. You know what I mean? Six of Cups is coupled with ah, the Ace of Wands. So yeah, you really could be moving forward in a very clear and concise way. I feel like in releasing these burdens, Aquarius, you're left wide open to achieve or go after your heart's desire. Go after something that you wanted for a long time or something that your inner child desires, all right? Or now in terms of this new relationship that could be coming in for some of you, uh, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius because you have temperance up there and now you have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands uh, talks about the sun in Sagittarius. Um, it is very clear and concise. It's open, open air, like no obstacles in the way at all. So I do feel like some of you are dealing with um, some sort of toxic relationship that you need to transform yourselves out of, but then that's going to leave you wide open for something that can come in. I heard in the nick of time or just potentially really quickly. 
but that's because you're wide open for it. And in being wide open for it, I really feel like there could, now there could be a period where you'll need to take a break um, and work on cultivating that self-love with the Ace of Cups here. But the Ace of Cups um, energy is what would bring this soulmate in in such a quick manner, okay? Alrighty, so let's get into your Oracle guidance here for your mid-month check-in, January 2019. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius. Mid-January 2019. Let's see what we've got for you, Aquarius. Woo, there we go. Gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gen honor your gen uh, excuse me, I'll try that again. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. So yeah, really approach this situation in a gentle manner. Whatever it is that you're super burdened by, um, don't just come at it, you know, don't be like Miley Cyrus and come in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, and also, but with that, I say that to say, don't diminish your feelings. Don't um, push away your emotions, push away what you truly feel. Don't, don't do that. But also, you know, be diplomatic, be truthful, be compassionate and be gentle with the situation because that really could help you make a smoother transition moving forward. All right, Aquarius. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me. I am available for personal readings. The information is in the description box below. But other than that, I look forward to connecting with you guys again for February. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.